Welcome to the Sphygma Core Excel Pulse Wave Analysis Tutorial. This video will familiarize you with the operation of the Sphygma Core Excel system and how to properly conduct a pulse wave analysis assessment. This tutorial does not cover system setup. If assistance with system setup is needed, please consult your operator's manual. To get started, on your computer desktop, double-click the Sphygma Core Excel icon to launch the application. To establish communication between the software and the Sphygma Core Excel module, click on System in the upper left corner of the toolbar and select Find Module from the drop-down menu. If communication has been successfully established, a message stating Electronics Module Found will be displayed in the notification area at the bottom of the screen. If an error message appears, this indicates that communication could not be established. In this case, ensure that the USB cable is properly connected to both the module and the computer and that the module is powered on. Once confirmed, reattempt the Find Module function. If communication still cannot be established, consult your operator's manual for further troubleshooting suggestions or contact an ACOR medical representative. To prepare for pulse wave analysis, follow proper protocol for brachial blood pressure measurement. Seat the patient in the chair so that his back is supported, making sure that his feet are not crossed and are on the ground. The patient should rest in this position for at least five minutes before the assessment begins and remain in this position throughout testing. If desired, the test may also be performed in the supine position. The Sphygma Core Excel system comes with three different sized brachial blood pressure cuffs to be used when conducting a pulse wave analysis assessment. A dark blue cuff for patients with an arm circumference between 22 and 33 centimeters. A maroon cuff to be used on patients whose arm circumference is between 31 and 40 centimeters. And a brown cuff that fits arm circumferences of 38 to 50 centimeters. Note that the brown cuff has a thigh label. However, this cuff is only to be used on the upper arm for pulse wave analysis assessments. On the inside of each cuff, there is an index marker as well as a range indicator. When the cuff is placed on the patient's upper arm, the index marker should fall within the labeled range indicating the appropriately sized cuff has been selected. An artery marker is displayed on the cuff to ensure proper orientation when placed on the patient's arm. Place the appropriately sized cuff on the patient's arm, directly in contact with the skin, with the hose directed down the arm. As the cuff is wrapped around the arm, ensure that the index marker falls within the defined range and that the artery marker is over the brachial artery. The cuff should be snug, but not overly tight. It should be possible to fit two fingers between the cuff and the patient's arm. The patient should have their arm comfortably rested on the table or bed at the level of the heart. Attach the cuff to the hose from the module using the white plastic connectors. Insert the connector on the hose into the cuff connector and rotate clockwise to secure the connection. An audible click will be heard when the connectors are secure. It is important to ensure proper cuff application when performing pulse wave analysis. If done improperly, it may yield erroneous results. Take careful consideration to not place the cuff over clothing. Use an inappropriately sized cuff. Incorrectly position the artery marker. Apply the cuff upside down. If the patient has already had a profile created in the Sphygma Core Excel software, locate that profile in the patient list and then proceed with the assessment initiation. To create a new patient profile, click New in the lower left-hand corner of the setup screen and enter the patient information into the appropriate fields. Required fields are noted with an asterisk. As few as a single character can be entered into any field with a maximum of 10 characters for the patient ID 
and 25 characters for the last and first name fields. On the right-hand side of the setup screen, there is an option to enter the patient's height. There is also a notes field that allows for free text entry. To initiate the assessment, click the start button on screen. There will be an audible click as the pump turns on and begins to inflate the cuff. It is important to ensure that the patient does not move and both the patient and operator refrain from talking while the assessment is being performed. The Sphygmocore Excel will automatically measure the patient's brachial systolic, diastolic, and pulse pressures. During cuff inflation and deflation, a blue column will appear to the right of the waveform graphic to provide a visual indication of the change in cuff pressure. Once the brachial pressure measurement is complete, there will be a 5 second delay before the cuff automatically begins inflating for pulse wave analysis capture. Initially, during cuff inflation, there will be no immediate response on the screen. Once the cuff completes inflation, it will remain at the determined pressure and record the waveforms generated from the brachial artery. During waveform acquisition, the guidance bars evaluate the signal to provide information about the consistency and amplitude of the waveforms. The horizontal bar at the top of the tracing evaluates the consistency of the waveform peaks. The horizontal bar at the bottom of the tracing evaluates the consistency of the baseline and the vertical column to the right of the capture screen is an indication of the signal amplitude, or strength. When one of the horizontal bars turns green, it is an indication that the consistency of that feature is most likely acceptable. The column to the right of the capture screen has a threshold marker that indicates the preferred minimal signal amplitude. The Sphygmocore Excel system requires a minimum of 5 seconds of reproducible waveforms. When the signal strength indicator is above the threshold marker and both horizontal guidance bars are green, the software will automatically capture the waveforms and generate a report. However, some circumstances may require the operator to manually capture the assessment. This can be accomplished at any time by pressing the space bar on the computer keyboard. The cuff can be deflated and the assessment ended at any time by clicking on Cancel in the capture screen or pressing the Stop button located on top of the module. At the conclusion of the assessment, the report will be displayed. It is important to always first evaluate the quality control indicator to determine if the report can be considered acceptable. A green check is an indication of an acceptable assessment while a red cross indicates that the assessment should be repeated. To repeat an assessment, simply click the Repeat button in the lower right-hand corner of the report screen. Additionally, some reports may be labeled with a note in the notification area. If a report is labeled with a note, it is recommended that the assessment be repeated. For further information about a specific note, please contact an ATCOR medical representative. Once generated, a report is automatically saved to the patient's profile. Any subsequent reports will also be added under the patient's profile and can be accessed in the Assessments section at the bottom left of the report screen. All reports are listed chronologically and identified by the date and time of the assessment. If the computer has been configured with a printer, it is possible to print a hard copy of the report by clicking the print button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Once an acceptable report is obtained, pulse wave analysis is completed and the cuff can be removed. <laughs>